progress report. Sorry I haven't gotten a video out sooner. I've been working on a few different things. Um, right now I've been working on the light bar and the front bumper. Uh, but that's, uh, that's this piece here that I just uh, bolted in place. And I'm using one inch steel tubing for that. And that's what holds my uh, headlights in place. And then also I come off the front of it with a half inch steel tubing and that's what's going to make my front uh, sort of grill and front bumper. And it's held on by four bolts and then I just pull it off. The What I've been doing is on wherever the metal mesh has been welded to the pipe I've been using a black polyurethane and I've I've secured that all the way around the edge of that and that helps with the uh, vibration and it also looks good keeps the water or anything from getting up underneath the edges and rusting so as you can see I just use uh, four bolts and bolt it back into position And then I mount the headlights back on. I was really impressed with these uh, lights that I got. I, for here, they're pretty cheap. I got them for a little less than twenty dollars, and they're pretty bright. Um, this is the way I bent the pipe. I cut a bunch of slots into the tubing. I have I don't have access to a metal tube bender or any kind of bender like that. Um, so I just found by cutting a bunch of slots into the tube, I can bend it real easy by hand. I can also tweak it to get the form exactly the way I want it and then I come back on top of that and I weld these lines over the seams and then that locks that into place and then I can grind it down and clean it up and and it doesn't look like I, I did anything to it. So this is the back um, guard. I'm going to end up uh, attaching some of that mesh to protect the back person or whoever you know the feet from the back from being able to get into the transmission area so, and then here's the uh, little bumper I also put on the front and here it is all painted and then, like I said after after I get the transmission built I'm gonna put some mesh in the back to uh, protect people from the transmission area okay I finished uh, one track I'm still working on the other track it ended up being 75 pieces and now I'm just trying to fit it to make sure that well that it ends up being the right number and just how hard it's going to be to, to put on so um, wasn't too bad it was a little tricky in my first time trying to figure it out I ended up taking it back off and then putting the master link in and then making it the circle you know all one piece and then putting it back on um, but the 70 I think it was 74 pieces actually 74 uh, pieces of track for each side and then I was able to use my adjustment to tighten it up this is how the master link works I took one of the regular pieces of track and instead of just having the one bolt I put two bolts on each side and then in the middle I cut a slot and then that what that does is that allows me to bring each end out out from from the center and then I can tighten up the bolts and then that makes my master link. Uh, 
was a little tricky to get it through there. It was tight fit, but um, as you can see, the pieces come right up to the middle, and I lock use the two bolts on each side and lock it in place. So here's the one track done. I mean, end up having to take it off uh, to work on the transmission, but uh, I definitely wanted to see how it looked, and, and it's looking pretty good. I got to take it off and paint it anyway, also. So my next video is going to be on the transmission. Maybe a little bit of time before I get to get get another video up, but uh, I'll try to get one up as soon as possible. So thanks for watching.